Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in the very trippy <laughs> lucid cycle. Now this was developed by Tonguk Boder, very uh, sorry if I just butchered your name there mate, uh, with East Asia Soft and also published by East Asia Soft. Uh, this is also usually available for £5.79 or $6.99 but at the time of recording is on sale. So we play as Mr. Nobody because we have no physical body as we go through sleep and wave after wave of abstract dreams that get deeper and more confusing as the game goes on. It's a beautifully designed game that acts half as a walking simulator, half mini game entrepreneur. Now this uh, really is awesome and the achievements show it too. All 12 are story related but this guide will help you get the full 1000 in as little as an hour as there is nothing too difficult, although you may need to replay a certain puzzle here and there. All in all, as I said, you're looking at around 50 minutes to an hour to unlock a shiny new 1k. So with that being said then, let us begin. So let us begin as we always do by pressing the A button to start any new game. Now not much in terms of controller, you click in the left stick to sprint, you only need to click it in once and that will help you uh, start sprinting. Um, obviously left stick to move, right stick to move the camera and basically that's it, we can't jump or anything, only specific levels we can do that. And we're just going to be following the simple path around for now as we are basically in Magic Mushroom Kingdom which Playing through this whole game kind of feels like we are in exactly that, and that's not a bad thing at all. But I bet uh, old Tonga had a bit of the old uh, <coughs> wackity backity. Uh, no, just joking. So anyway, as we head into this cave, uh, press the X button on it, press the A button to get out, and then it'll be in this, <laughs> you know, your guess is as good as mine sort of weird dreamland that we're in now. Uh, so we're just basically following the path back and heading through the portal. So if you see any mushrooms like this, especially ones that are about uh, 20 feet taller than you, uh, don't eat it. Just don't go near it. It's probably not worth your time. Um, <laughs> unless you want to end up in something beautiful like this. Or unless you want to get chased by dragons. It's up to you anyway. But to end levels, we have to do a certain thing and then we have to um, go through this particular portal. That is how every level works. So there was only really one that I potentially had a little bit of trouble with, but we'll come back to that a little later. So we've got three houses as we begin in the middle of butt flubbing nowhere. Uh, but you should unlock your first achievement, Dream Mush A Rate or something. So head into the first house and we're going to be shooting these aliens. Press the right trigger, smash it all to hell. They turn into some delicious, sweet treat beautifulnesses. you got cookies and lollies and all types of diabetes on the floor for us. Um, but as long as all the aliens are dead, that should be fine. Now we can just go into the second house. Uh, you don't actually have to watch this uh, animation. All this dive is going to do is start walking into the floor. Trippy as hell. Uh, but again, you don't have to uh, watch it all. We can just go to the third one. And it's the same sort of thing. The money's just going to start sinking into the floor, which breaks my heart, really. Because that is a lot of moolah. And I am devastated. So we can just wait here for a minute. You're going to see a, a white flash. And then as soon as that's done, the portal will appear right in front of us next to the second house. So nip, on, nip your buttons on through, buddy. So this is the first time we can jump, we're basically in space, we're going nuts, so there's only really one path that we can take. You also get the Dream House 7 4E achievement, again tried my best to pronounce that but I can't. Uh, be careful with this one, could be a little bit difficult, try and land on the top. If you do end up falling you just go to the one previous carriage so it really doesn't make a difference if you fall or not. But keep following the path up and Basically, we've only got two more to jump on, and that is where the portal is directly in front of us. Trippy boy! So after every sort of couple of uh, wacky tobacco magic mushroom dreams, we end up back in our house. We must be rich as hell because this house is fit, disgustingly fit. But all we got to do, we do the same thing every time, interact with the AI lamp. 
Uh, you can choose any option that you want. Basically, she's just one of those that if you've got any problems with any dreams, well, this will be the game for you, actually. She'll tell you exactly what each thing means, depending on what you want. Go into the door in front of us, interact with the um, easel, or the canvas. Uh, not really a painter, but blank thing in front of us. And then we can just simply head on back to the bedroom on the left-hand side, press the X button, and we'll be back into our um, magic mushroom decapitated sleep. Sorry, that is literally not the word I'm looking for. Decapitated means head off. De-lepitated? something I did. Anyway, head head uh, behind us, and all we need to do is just stand basically in the middle of this platform here. Um, we'll go upside down, and then the portal will appear for us. Dilapidated. I think that's the word. Well, what a way to ruin a guide. Not even sure if dilapidated is the correct thing that I'm going for. But anyway, moving on, I'll sort of figure that one out myself unless someone tells me I'm stupid enough. Thank you, if you do. This one is easy enough. All we got to do is walk directly in front of us and the portal will appear magically in front of us. But you start to see the lost city of Shitlantis at the bottom and you've got like the Matrix, um, seven, <laughs> the seventh Matrix film directly in front of us there. Oh yeah, straight in the bean, please. But uh, no, just walk, there it is. So if you do end up missing it, obviously it's, it's very easy to miss. So just in case you do, always check back, just in case you did actually miss it. So this is another very easy one. All we gotta do, head to the left and we're gonna see a um, dragon statue of some sort. Yeah, directly in front of us, and then all it is, the rest of the statues that we just need to interact with are basically always to the right of us. So it's basically just one long path going the way around, easy peasy, lemon ball cheesy squeezy. Press the A button here to interact with Dragon's Ball. <laughs> Dragon's Ball Sack Z. It's uh, not the version you're thinking of. And then head through straight ahead into the portal to begin the next level. Dragon Ball's PP. Pee -pee. Only NG's got that one. So next up, we've got a bunch of uh, Captain Bird's Eyes. So we just need to shoot them again, pressing the right trigger. Shoot all the Captain's Bird's Eyes fish finger guys. This is for giving me diarrhea with your fish fingers, you bastard. Anyway, when that's done, head through to the portal. Nice one. And now we are back home, so again, obviously you just go out of the room, interact with the lamp, choose any dialogue option, go through the door, press X on the painting, go back to the bed, and get yourself mushroomed up, boy. Control your emotions. Now this next one may take a few goes, we basically have to be not touched at all as we head straight in front of us to the portal. So you can uh, start sprinting a bit if you want to, but we basically just have to avoid every single one of these hazmat dudes. Uh, hey, up yours buddy, get your aids away from me. And we can head here, um, just be aware that some of these guys do actually go straight up the back, so just keep looking left and right, and the portal will appear, there it is, directly to our right. Job done. Now 
Now, if you manage to get this one wrong, you're going to have to give up video games. All we have to do is walk forward, drop into the hole, and... Oh, wait, this is like my ex misses this hole. Uh, uh, anyway, just drop down, and drop down. <laughs> Yeesh. What did you see in your dream? Those were dangerous people. You should try to take control of situations that you are feeling inadequate about. So, I think old Tonguk is probably going to have a letter from Peter for being cruel to animals because we basically need to shoot a whole bunch of pigs. But pigs are goddamn delicious. So, yeah, Peter already on the phone being angry about everything as they always are. Um, but, yeah, there's a whole, just a whole bunch of pigs about. I'm not sure if this is a timed bit or you have to shoot a, a certain amount of pigs or anything. But just keep shooting and eventually the portal will appear as more piggies will appear. Pepper's downgrade. We shoot her in the face. So here was the next son of a bitch kind of level. So we have to basically just shoot all these cubes that are in a, a small map town. Um, but they can be dicks, especially if you think you've gone through them all and you've missed one. So just I'll try and explain the best where I can as we go ahead. So you've got the first three, first four there. And now just interact and smash the rest of the cubes in this car park. So you had from the stand position, one on the right, two on the left and the rest in this car park. Okay, that should be that for this bit. So go ahead and smash this boy up in front of us and then have a look to the right on the roof. That is where the next one is. And then on the ground in front of us is the next one. So from here, we're going to turn right and just, again, press in the left stick so we can do a bit of sprinting and just head up all the way. And then to the right, keep sticking with the left wall by this building and we'll shoot this one cube. Next, we are going to go st uh, just straight through into the next part of the middle of the road and uh, smash these bunch of cubes up as well. Then we can go to the left, uh, get this one done on the bridge. And then if you turn slightly to your right, we can see the next one. Keep going. And we can just get this one on the edge in its corner on its own. Next, we're going to head right. And on the main road, we're going to see these cubes. There's also another three, or two or three cubes. At the bottom there, you can see me shooting at, and there was one just on the roof to the left of us, just there. So make sure to get them as well before we go. Next, turn around and head back the way you came. In fact, we go in just in the middle of this sort of buildings to get three of these. And then head to the left on the main road, get this one in the middle, and then hit the one in the park. And then a couple on the right side main road there. And there is also going to be one just in the stairwell. Make sure to grab that boy. Right, from here we can just head to the, um, in fact we just go in straight and then to the right. Grab this one Cuban Puban that's on its own. Head to the right and then right again and then right again and there's this one in this little alleyway. Turn around and grab these bunch of pubic cubics directly in front of us. And that's good, now we can just run straight down and we're going to take the next left. There is one uh, cube on its own on a bridge right there, you've just got it. And then if you look just up to the left... As we turn around, there we go. There's that one on its own. So we're going to turn left here and basically um, make our way round just past the van. You can see another cube, but head through the middle of these buildings right here. To the right is the next cube. And then we can just go down and get these next cubes straight in front of us. 
There's those three done. There is one on this stairway, just hit leading up this door. Make sure to grab that. And then grab these two on the next part of the main road. Right, lovely. We are coming up to the end, <laughs> thankfully. Uh, so turn around, and as we get here, we're going to take a left. I go to take a right. I was actually looking for the park. We needed to take a left. So sorry about the little bit of confusion there. So we've got two or three. We've got three cubes here. And then there's going to be another two in the park. Which for some reason I couldn't get in this side. So I have to go around. Which is frankly annoying. So make sure to grab these two. There we go. And then... Now actually I have missed one. What should happen now? The portal. There should be a portal in the middle of the road. Um, coming up this way. Uh, but I have actually missed one. So I thought it was one down here. But I will show you exactly where it is now. So apologies about the little bit of the runaround at the end, but the portal is down this main road. It should be directly in front of you now, but the one that I missed is on the left-hand side, as you'll be able to see. There we go. So the one I missed there is just at the end. So, uh, uh, you know, next to the hot pizza sign, etc. Um, yeah. So apologies about that, but as soon as you hit that one, the next portal should open up. I can't believe I managed to miss that one. So again, apologies that I uh, had to give you the cheeky little run around, but hopefully I explained that as well enough as I could that you didn't actually end up missing a ting. So, we're just going to wait for just a couple of seconds before we can regain our control of Mr. Nobody. Ah, there we go. Look, tidy bob buff pants. So, as we regain control, uh, pick up the brain directly in front of us. And then uh, press the X button by this big vase to drop that one in. And head to the door on the left, or basically straight in front of us. Again, make sure to be sprinting or slightly jogging if you're not. And we're going to head to the first left, right here. And then just turn to the left and pick up the old lungs of life. And then back the way we came, which is to the right. And we're going to drop that in the old Vazaroni. Pepperoni, Vazaroni. Eh, eh. So there we go. Back into the room. Drop it in the vase. Job done. So now we need to go back the way we came. So through that same door. Only this time we're going to be heading through the right door handle side. -le. There we go. So head through to the right. And then go into the door directly in front of us. There is going to be in front of us the heart Looks more like a strawberry, but that's awesome. I like a strawberry hat. And then go back the way we came. So straight, right, left, yeah. And then interact with the vase. And then we can now go through the door directly in front of us there. And just keep on walking. Portal time will be on your left. Now this one is mightily difficult. If you turn to the left and start sprinting towards the black bald biscuit head of life. Uh, just basically just keep sprinting. You'll automatically turn around and head to the ship and the portal will appear. That one may take you a couple of attempts. So 
So this one may look like it is actually difficult, but it's not too bad. We can turn around, and all we've got to do is basically follow the stone paths. And we're following these, like, checkpoints, if you want to call them. So that's all we are doing here. So from here, we're going to turn to the right. And then we're going to go all the way to the left. So some of the paths may look like they're the way to go, but they're not. So head right, and then right again. And obviously go to the end. And of course, we're going to head to the right. Keep, so basically keep going straight, right, straight. And there's the next checkpoint. Keep on going. Only one path to go. To the left, to the left. To the left, to the left. I ain't got no breath of breasts left. To the left. And here is the portal. So not too bad following the jiggity-jaggity stones of life. Now, this is one that actually may take you a couple of attempts. What we have to do is not look at any of the red balls or the floor at all. And obviously, you'll have an eye icon, so make sure that eye icon is not looking at any of the balls. So you need to walk into this big black wall, head to the left, but be very careful as you enter around the corner. Don't look at the floor or any of the red balls. So, so again, it's just there that may take you a couple of attempts. Uh, heading around the corner, but the portal is there straight in front of us. What did you see in your dream? A small ship in a dream suggests that you will finally have a peaceful period in your life. Can you see where you'd be without me? Now nah, you can't beat levels like this one. All you gotta do is walk literally straight until you get stabbed in the face. Ah! No, I'm joking. It is just walking straight, enjoying the scenery, and still wondering where the hell we're at right now. Now, this one isn't too bad. All we've got to do as we begin is look down at the piano and press the X a whole bunch of times until the piano disappears. <laughs> Awfully playing. We basically need to avoid the spotlight. So head to the left. All the, all, all the lighthouses are the same. They just spin in one uh, direction. So you can sprint uh, as long as just concentrate on the ones on the left. Don't worry about the ones on the right. Of course, just wait until this spotlight disappears and then moves straight in front of us to the portal that one is pretty easy too Ah, this is an awesome one, actually. we just got to find four different hats and put them on the same people. Or four different people. So get the uh, Mexican ay -ay -ay tequila hat. Put it on the first guy. Grab the football helmet of the American egg ball helmet. Put it on this lady. Football head. Grab the wizard hat from the other side of the office. Put it again on the same lady. Wizard head. And then directly behind us, we can get, um, I don't know, is that like a... A cat in the hat, rabbit, rabbit in the hat kind of magician um, hat. <laughs> Put it on the fourth guy anyway. Head through the portal. Rabbit head. What 
What did you see in your dream? Change is all about moving forward in life. The meaning in your dream is clear enough. What more can I say? Another simple loss one, all we are doing is literally walking forward until the portal appears. I mean, it looks pretty, I'll give it that. But my head, my head she is screwed on wrong. So this level may take a few tries to get used to, basically we're going to be in a jeep and the way you drive is left stick to move forward and right stick to move, which if you've been used to a lot of driving games is very confusing. Um, obviously if you press down on the left stick that is to reverse as well, grabbing the cubes is easy enough, it's a very small map anyway but it's genuinely just the driving which is a bit of a pain in the bumder snatch there. So it's basically sort of one straight path up and then one straight path down. I promise my uh, driving skills in real life are not actually that bad. I haven't crashed yet. Touch wood, just in case I, uh, you know, make the news that beloved the, well, the beloved Welsh hander has um, crashed his car and is unable to do these guides anymore. Anyway, under this next level, head to the right <laughs> and uh, interact with this light. And then basically we're just going to keep going. There's only one real path that we can take, and that's sort of to the right. And this big, giant, nostril-haired legend... Is going to appear. Um, basically, we can just stop anywhere here. Uh, but if you interrupt, basically stand in front of the bush, he will start walking towards us. Oh my god, that is a giant shoe. Anyway, if we, we can just go back the way we came. So to the right here, head to the left, and then right. And then we should be able to just go to the left and interact with the portal. What did you see in your dream? If you encounter a giant in your dream, you must be finding something insurmountable and are thusly a slave to it. Am I the giant here? Whatever, go paint something now.
So again, another easy one. All we're doing for the time being is following the rather linear path until we get to a building. There are literally no wrong turns you can take, otherwise you'll end up in the next wrong turn movie and, you know, be bummed by brothers and sister already bumming each other and stuff. Is that the wrong turn series? Yeah, it's like something like that. Anyway, we're just going to keep going. For now, we're, we're going to end up in a building. Hopefully, uh, not being kidnapped and taken over by the incestual brothers. Here we go then. So, into the building. Basically, there's only one thing that we're going to do. There's two switches. So, we're going to interact with the left one first. And we're going to press this, I think, four times until a, a uh, hologram of a ring appears. There it is. Then press the right switch. And that is where the portal comes into it. So this next dream then, all we need to do for the time being is just walk forward and we're basically heading into the building. This very much looks like uh, Chernobyl before, you know, all the bad stuff happened. Anyway, keep heading straight for now and we're going to head into the left hand side here, into the building. Nice random horse just chilling. And basically we're just going to keep going up a lot of steps to climb, climb, climb. Feeling more like Homer Simpson, to be honest, there, when he walks two meters. So anyway, head through these two doors, interact with the TV to turn that on, turn that boy around, head out of the door, and the portal will be here, right in front of us. Yeah, you know when Homer starts trying to run after Marge, and he takes about four steps and starts going, Burr! That is literally what I'm like with stairs. Okay, I've got to give myself credit. I, I can at least get up to seven or eight. Anyway, we're back in the house now, so do your tang. What did you see in your dream? This may symbolize new opportunities to explore. I'd say don't look too far. Did you install my latest firmware update? So we're on to another collecting level now, which is not as bad as that shooting the Cuban Puban one. So we need to get the like these red hearts. So the first one is on this thing right here. Turn slightly around and grab the next one. Right from here, we're going to go up these steps ever so slightly to the right and interact with this next Brainos. So now we can head back down and we are going to head up the next set of steps to the right. Uh, nothing to the right of us there, but there is one on the bench in front of us and to the left of us. So make sure to grab these two before heading back down the old wooden piers. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. There we go. Right, so from here we're going to go to the right up, a ne up the next couple of steps. And then at the end you can see the next brain. Why are we collecting brains? What are we, a zombie? wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing so down and then in front of us on this cart is yet another brain and then if we head to the left is yet another brain so two uh, in very close proximity there head to the left and sitting on this bench next to a hammer is the next one and then directly in front of us on this bay hail hail of bay bay of hail and then if we just go uh, to the right inside this little area with the stairs there is another brain for us to eat and then we can basically just get the next one on the box in front of us before heading down and to the left up the steps is the next brain. So again, very easy to miss, just like the cubes. But head in front of us and the next one's in front of us on this uh, thing right here. Turn to the... Uh, sorry, keep going straight actually. And the next one is on this Bay of Hale once again. Gareth Hale and Gareth Bale. And then we can just turn to the right. Yeah, keep turning the right, there we go. And then in front of us, in the dark, again, another easy one to miss, and then go immediately right up the steps and grab this next brain. Mmm, juicy. Proteiny. So on the left, just past the bale, uh, the cart was the next one. And then if we go up the steps and to the left, we're going to find the next brain. And we are actually coming up to the end, but head to the left. 
there's the next brain and head to the right down this little alleyway and find the next one so now we can actually turn back around go up the steps before heading all the way to the right and that is the next and last one. So again, hopefully I explained that. I, I tried to explain that as best I could. Hopefully you could follow one along uh, quite easy. But again, apologies if it was a bit fast. That's not my intention. I'd like you to have all the pleasure as well, you know. I don't want to be done in 30 seconds. Um, <laughs> did I just give away too much information? Mm, probably. Anyway, this one, all we're doing is just waiting. So I don't know if you can walk forward and it does it a bit quicker or anything. But we've got to wait a minute or two until the portal appears. Now, you know when it's good when you don't actually have, to actually have to do anything. So for this one, all we're doing is following the footsteps, but you don't actually have to follow, follow the uh, extreme same path. You can literally just turn to the right and head to the end or whatever you can see. But we just basically need to find the last uh, set of footsteps. Easy. Easy, ball sack, squeezy, cheesy. But then when we get here, if you turn around, go up the stairs, and then to the right, you can just see a little light on the left-hand side. So uh, make sure to sit in here, and then we can wait in here until we start drowning, which is pretty much everyone's worst fear, I assume, until the portal opens. This would make me crap my pants before I died, and probably after as well. What did you see in your dream? You are overusing your head, and it might do you good to allow your heart to do the thinking. Listen to your heart sometime. By the way, looking at this guy's house is really really making me want to um, upgrade my ideas what a bathroom hot little bedroom jesus christ i want to be posh and rich like this guy so if you can tell all your friends about me um help me get rich <laughs> i'm just joking except i'm not anyway all we have to do here is just walk into the enemies to push them down uh what i do is just go straight then right um then um basically there's only one left so that's just the way I do it. So you can knock two down at a time. And then you'll be able to just knock one enemy down. Job done. Do these for all four sets of enemies and the portal appears. So this is very much like Lost Planet, except it's a hell of a lot easier and a little more extremely less frustrating. So we just have to stand by the campfire just for a couple of seconds, warm up, and just get to the next one before we freeze. You're going to start seeing the screen freeze just a little bit. So as soon as you do that and get to the next campfire, there we go, wait until all the frozen is gone, head to the next one. So we're going to the right, ever so slight, Lee. <laughs> I'm a rhymer and I didn't poet. I'll just... Damn it! 
I really stink at that. Anyway, so head here and wait wait to this campfire for a couple of seconds before moving on again. And again, just wait until the frozenicity has gone. And then we can head to the left. And again, just do the same thing. Wait until uh, wait by this campfire until the frozenicity is gone. And then we're going to head to the left again, or ever so slightly left. Do the same thing. Obviously, we're going to be heading straight this time. Man, a lot of snow in this one. Even <laughs> everything's covered in white. This time, though, we're going to be heading to the right. So you... Looks like you can just head straight, but that just wastes time. As soon as we're here, now we can just head for the portal. Lovely stuff. Another very easy one, all we got to do is just interact with the button directly in front of us, head into the small wardrobe, and then suffocate to death. Mmm, nice! Giant eyeballs peeking out of mountains. That's exactly what you want in a dream, isn't it? That doesn't make you shit yourself. What did you see in your dream? This is indicative of prosperity and wealth. You are lucky to have me in your home. I am your wealth. Go now, do some painting, and then sleep and dream again. So we're coming up to the last couple of puzzles. This one does take a while. So basically all we have to do is shoot at the guy's heads to turn him around to basically make a bridge. Uh, now what it does is from here we can just go straight ahead. But then it goes right to left. And basically, you know, basically right to left and then right to left again until we get to the other side. So yeah, there's not much to say on this one. Just uh, keep following the same path that I do. Um, but be careful that you can fall off and you start from a couple of guys back. So, so like I said, from here we're going right and then down and then left. Down, right, down, left until we get to the other side. You've got a big head.
There we go. So that wasn't too bad, was it? Only five minutes of waiting for the guy to turn around. Jesus Christ. Anyway, so welcome to the library section. So we basically just head all the way down to the end. And there's going to be three balls in front of us. Now we need to choose these balls. Um, play and juggle with these balls in a specific order. For this, So for this one, it is one, three, and two. And that's the next one. So, we, if, I mean, if you if you play with balls a lot, hey, this will be your perfect thing. Especially blue balls, except these are red. But anyway, for this one, it is two, four, three, and one. Now, this is for the advanced ball players. The ones that put two in the mouth and three in the hands, apparently. Um, so, as the end. So, when we hear it's three, five... Two, one, and finally four. So just three of them. Portal appears. Job done. So again, if you if you're a ball, if you're a good ball handler, then oh boy, you'll have a good time with debt. What did you see, Mudry? A symbol of connection, stability, and progress. I think you're going in the right direction, so keep it up. So we do only have about five minutes left of gameplay now, which is a bang tidy. Uh, but this one is not as easy as you think. All we've got to do is basically shoot the blue ball right in front of us. <laughs> got to make that ball red somehow. He needs some satisfaction. So all you got to do is shoot the blue ball. But for whatever reason, it's just not as easy as you think it is. So uh, just shoot it. Yeah. Shoot your white stuff into the blue balls. Job done. So when we get to this point, you can actually move the camera down, and then eventually, the portal is gonna. The portal's already there, but that that one trips you up big time. So head to the portal, and we are almost finished. And luckily, there's nothing too difficult with the rest of them either. So, we're heading forward. We kind of look like we're in Roman's times or something now. And we're just going to head to the right. And then head to the left. There's only one linear path again that we can take. So, don't panic your buns and slashings about them. And welcome to the Horse of Life. He starts shrinking. He's obviously scared of... I've got a, mass, a bigger dong than him. And the horse starts running... And then when we get into this area, we can actually just go out, back out of the room now. And that is where the portal is. See? I didn't get confused or anything there. <laughs> well. What did you see in your dream? And so, too, is your journey. So, just a few little more bad boys to go then. So, all we're going to do is head forward. Uh, don't get too deep in the water. I think you can actually die if you go too deep in the water. Uh, never tested it out, but, you know, I got pretty uh, close there. And this one, again, it's it's easy, but all you've got to do is basically look at the floor, and the floor will appear in front of you, but it's easy to get lost. But I think it's another one of those bridges where it goes from all the way to the right, all the way to the left. So... Don't get fooled uh, where the path looks most obvious. So it's more right to the left, to the left, to the right. 
job done. What did you see in your dream? Ah, you see, I almost got tripped up there. <laughs> anyway, so the AI is basically saying, I don't know if this is a, um, uh, this is having a go at everyone who relies solely on their phone and, you know, instead of going out to find a girlfriend, they touch themselves to pornography constantly. Go get a girlfriend, dude! Or do that. Go get yourself a partner. Anyway. I don't know if that was a, a dig at everyone who uses technology more than finding a girlfriend slash boyfriend or whatever. Uh, so, thanks for that game. But that is it. That is the game. So, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed the guide as well. Really, really fun making this one. So, a fantastic game. No matter how trippy it ended up being. You should now have all 12 out of 12 achievements, but again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Also, check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon, which, by the way, a big huge shout-out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon, and a big thank you for everyone who continues to just interact with me on the daily anyway. You guys and gals are legends. I love y'all. I just said y'all. That's weird. Anyway, thanks again, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one. Ba 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 big love.